All right, hey everyone, what about here, and welcome to, or welcome, oh boy, uh, what is even going on? Uh, what is up with my character? Where am I? How are things? Who are you? Oh, it's you, build. There are no th there's nothing to build at this time. Well, that's unfortunate. Talk. Borrow the necklace from Rosen. He's gonna get use the necklace to save the people. This is too much for me. So glad I met you. Cool. Man, I don't remember anything about this game. Here to train. Train. What? Okay. So I met... I think I'm just going to leave that as such, because that shouldn't be a thing, which means I'm going to leave it as such. <laughs> okay, let's change clothes. Uh, let's see, did they add any new characters? They have. Maybe. Uh, let's see, can be revived twice. What else do we have? I don't remember, like, any of these characters or which ones were good. It looks like King of Pickaxes is no longer suicide. Reduces crit chance, but has dash damage and extra dash. Gain 4 power, minus defense and HP every, for every item in your inventory. That's about normal. Let's remove speed, reduce toughness. Yeah, it really seems like they've rebalanced this game for the better. I'm using this guy? Uh, sure. Why not? That doesn't seem half bad. And I've got hacked up stats, which... Oh, what do you guys think? Do I unhax myself, or do I leave myself as the hacked up uber being that I have somehow managed to accrue? I think as a result of all of my modding the last time I played this game. And so my remaining points are negative 29, and <laughs> I don't really want to give that up. I probably should. I probably should. Let's see, hacks? Never enough hacks. Alright. Let's see. Uh, satiation levels are decreased by up to 10% when eating food. Gain an accessory slot. Dash charges plus one. Holy crap. Greed is a lot better than it used to be. Okay, I wonder if I can rank up or level up even further. Uh, let's see. What if I... Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's... That's... We don't want to do that. What about Tab? I don't remember any of these NPCs. Ah, uh, let's see. Bless Aegis. Bless me! She prays, and we get the Red Dragon Killer to start with. What about Aegis? Sacrifice experience to Perino to get Aegis. Heard that people who have received this blessing can exceed their limits. However, as a human being, exceeding the limit can be risky when done more than five times. Let's not... Not until I know what that does. It seems like there's stuff that I don't know about. Okay, so she has items for us. I'm assuming it's not going to be as good as the Red Dragon Killer, but I'll take what I can get. Uh, let's see, Ruby Necklace. Oh, right! I've got the Defense Helper. And the Gold King. Cripes. Uh... <laughs> Let's see. What else do we want? Eye patch, which gives us crit chance. Remember, uh, let's see. I've got money. Don't buy the ruby necklace. We'll buy the ruby necklace. We've got that. Oh, right. And I've got a flamethrower. Man, this is what happens when you step away from a game for a while. Now, that's what I call a gun. We get a matchlock gun. I don't think the matchlock gun is very good for us. And we also get a sandbag? The hell does the sand... How do I even open up my inventory? It's been a while. Uh... Man, I have a lot of dashes. Well, I guess we're just going in. Whoopsie. Let's see. What cheat was activated? Noth nothing recently. Okay, that's just for warping around. Uh, but apparently I'd done some, like, hacksy business the last time I played. We'll reset stuff after this run. I'd, I'd like to, uh... I'd like to play more legit, but, like, this is just too busted to not. So... Interesting. So, now food just heals you. Ooh. They've really changed how food works. And it looks like... It looks like for the better. So, extra power in defense, that's pretty good. Extra power in crit chance, extra power in evasion, extra power in max health and defense, extra power... Or, earn four more, four more gold every time you obtain gold. And some power. Oh... Boy. Oh boy. It's some food. Uh, I'm gonna go chocolate cookies. 
What else do I want to grab? You know, I think I'm going to wait before we buy any more food. Mainly because I don't... I, I'm not sure if I'm going to take some damage here. And I should probably make the most of that sooner than later. Uh, or make the most of that... As long as my satiation doesn't reach zero, uh, this is an efficient action. Wow. Yeah, so I might as well actually preface this a little bit. So what is Dungreed? It's a platformer roguelike made by a Korean company. Um, what the cooldown? Oh, there's the cooldown. Okay. Made by a Korean company. That's pretty much all I know about it. It was one of those games that, like, just randomly showed up on my Steam Suggested page, like, a long long time ago, and I was just like, oh man, this actually looks like a really neat roguelike. I should play this. Uh, and then I started playing, and it was actually just fantastic. Oh, I missed that. Uh, and I really enjoyed playing it. Uh, I didn't... I No, no, I more or less beat the whole thing, now that I'm thinking about it. At least all of the available content at the time. It was kind of in a rough state, but it was still really fun. And then we started modding and, like, hacksing some things around. And it got super fun. And then they got rid of that. And that made me really upset. Mainly because they they truly just made it so that you, you couldn't mod the game anymore. The game would crash if you tried to do so. And it was... Well, who are you? I recently found a brilliant treatment. Want to give it a go? Receive... It's going to sting a little, but it'll be effective for sure, trust me. <laughs> what did that do? Uh, is there a way to check inventory? No, shift? No. Hmm. What are the... Open the item list. Open the settings. Control settings. Dash to move direction. Double tap dash. Press up. Auto aim support. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, inventory is V. Character stats is C. Uh, what did he do to us? He did something, but... Anybody know what this guy does? Let's see, how did you get really good gear at the start? That's actually uh, a feature of the game. You get to carry X number of items with you uh, between runs. I don't remember how it works exactly. Oh, there's the treatment there. It's a temp buff, it looks like. Heals you every number of seconds. Got it. I have no idea if it was worth it. But yeah, it doesn't look like I can hover over it to actually get the effects. But that's fine. Sup, Croc? It's been a while. Uh, let's see. I guess I can't sell starting things. Uh, let's see. I don't really need that. I know there's item sets. I haven't tried the whip yet. That might be interesting. What about these? When hit, sends out... Penetrating clouds, the poison enemies, nah, Charm of Madness. Charm of Madness ain't bad. The Watcher is kind of okay. Heavy Meteor Fragment. Oh, it's a weapon. And Gibulg. Uh, this one, Last Bullet, Penetrates Enemies. Some of these are pretty good. I'm fine with what I got, at least for now. Okay, what else am I missing? Not too much. How's, how's my satiation? It's doing okay. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I, I don't remember the exact mechanics just because it's been so long. But you get to, uh, you get to, s at least you used to be able to save an item to bring with you between runs or several. In front of the pot, it says, mix it and accept your fate. Combine. Uh, gun. <laughs> Combine. We gained a bat. Oh, sandbag is dash damage. I don't really need that. Oops. I'll have to I'll have to take a look at a lot of these things. Mess around with it later. Also flamethrower, because I haven't used the flamethrower. And I have no idea if it counts as a a firearm for the gunslinger. I don't even remember why I have the flamethrower, to be totally honest. I, it's something I picked up, clearly. <laughs> it's pretty good, actually. Hey, I don't know why or how I healed from that, but I did, and that's great. Uh, let's see. Whoop. Missed that guy. Oh, this is the altar. Uh, let's see. Would you like to make an offering? Yes. I I believe the uh, the better items you give... I don't remember if giving tribute at the altar was what uh, gives you that benefit in the very beginning. It's 
gonna take a while before I I remember anything or everything with this game. But that's okay. Alright. Last room, then we go. Actually, you know what? Let's let's go get a little bit more food. How much money am I rolling? Oh, I'm running plenty of money. Sandbag and a shoveler, an item set. Huh. Yeah, I'll have to look at item sets later. So do we want to just go flat power? Might not be a bad idea. No. Because I'd be better off actually going for something like this. Or power and evasion. If I'm not mistaken, uh, evasion and crit chance are the things that I really want to focus on. Defense had like a weird cap cap that wasn't that was kind of frustrating. This should be this should be good. We'll see. Alter gives a legendary item in the start area when full. Huh. Oh. So what you're saying is eat a shit ton more than I have. And maybe it'll be better. Uh I'm assuming you have to, like, balance it so you actually become full. Or can you overeat? I don't really remember. Whoops. Not there. Uh, let's see. Cannot open during battle. I didn't realize I was still in battle. Eh. That shield means nothing to me. We. I, this is not the return to this game that I was really expecting to have, but here we are. Uh, let's see. You can't overeat. Okay. Spatch. Whoops. Oh, so... That green meter is actually, uh, whoop. That green meter is my shield, I think. Uh, let's see. Well, we don't need any... We don't actually need any health here. Yeah, just... Just give me a run before I really remember what we're doing. I might honestly leave a lot of my stuff behind so I can have like a more vanilla run and we'll kind of reset stuff because I didn't want to start from the beginning because I remember this game being a little grindy. But at the same time, this might be a bit much. Either that or I should go back and rewatch my old series. We. Well, this is busted. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put a disclaimer at the beginning of this episode when I'm wandering around, when I'm wandering around town, and be like, "So, I goobed around a lot." We get the Tonfa of Shock. That sounds interesting. Uh, let's slap that there instead of this. What the hell is this thing? It looks nuts. Hi. Okay, so let's take a look at it. High attacks per second. De defense. Creates a shock when using the device. Interesting. Let's check the item list sets. Riot Police. Bat Family. Adventure Planet. Power of... Sp oh, we should try some of these. Oh, and there's a bunch of items I haven't unlocked yet. Monopoly dolls would be kind of fun. Well then... Note to self, just hold on to things in inventory, don't tribute anything for a while, and we'll figure it out. Let's see, keep the gear, reset stats for a balanced experience. Yeah, that's probably fair. Oh man, I remember this music. Ow. Well, I'd say ow, but I'm not actually taking damage. I mean, the freaking shield girl is... Kind of incredible. So not quite quite as good as my flame sword, but not bad, all things considered. Oh man, I remember all this music. Okay, let's let's go back to the red dragon sword for here. That was way too quick. I mean, this is what happens when you effectively have beaten a roguelike to hell and back again. You have all the good stuff. I this exact same thing happened with my return to uh with my return to Hades as well. Pretty much any boss that gave me trouble previously, I just rolled over. And even to the point where, like, Hades himself is just kind of chump change. Uh, the only thing that really makes it difficult is my own weird stubbornness in choosing god boons. And some dumb, dumb and or bad luck along the way. Both definitely have had, like, a detrimental effect on my ability to win.
<sighs> I mean, some amount of it is most definitively like, occasionally the game games I play are, are actually hard. And this one, this one is legitimately hard too. I mainly just have it, uh, it's this girl that makes it everything a lot easier. Because effectively, uh, she gives me a regenerating shield. I'm not actually sure what the, uh... I'm not actually sure what the... Right, I can remember I have a dash, too. It's like a double jump and a dash and some other things. Uh, but... Oh, maybe the shield only regenerates when you're out of combat. Or between rooms. It's been a while. Uh, this way. I can see they've got some new... They've got some new level chunks. That's good. Let's see. We've gained the small boomerang. Ah. But yeah, not having to worry about damage more or less means I can just like... Uh, I can just yabba dabba do my way through like everything and just not care. <laughs> it's bad. What's the... It's not... It's not yabba dabba do... There's another... Unga bunga. There we go. That's... That's the pseudo phrase that I'm looking for uh, to describe my current playstyle. Let's see. For the end of the game, do you still need to get 99% evasion? I'm unsure, but I'm pretty sure that's that's the way to win. I don't know if it's possible. Oh my money! Should probably get a gun, just in case. Going all melee works? Yeah, money's gone. Going all melee works fairly well? Well... Get bulk! I did say I, w I needed a pistol. Uh, let's see. Can't open during battle. Oh, shoot. I guess that actually makes perfect sense. There we go. Ah! Traps. But yeah, I am playing the Gunslinger. I should probably gun. Just a little bit. I like the Bolt uh, Tonfa's a shock. I actually don't seem half bad. Um, hmm. Oh, I do have the Frost Choker. Speed Reloader? Oh, that's, uh... That goes here. We'll give her to the bat. Oh, right. I gotta remember how to... Uh, what's the, what's the reload button? Reload is R, huh. But how do you, oh, I see. You really just have to, to time it there to get the, the sweet spot reload. Nice cut. Wait. Remind me, isn't Dice God's trick ridiculous? Yeah, it is. Why the hell do... Why? All right. Gladly. And what's he got? Chunk of ice. Uh, that might not be a bad idea. There's a lot of these things here, some of which actually do feed into a number of the sets, so I should probably look at that. Uh, I... Yeah. Sooner than later. So I wonder if you still play WoW. Eh, not really. Not often. Okay, food shop. So we've cleared out a fair bit. That's a decent amount of crit damage and crit chance. That's pretty good. Power. No evasion in the shop, the shop this time around. Well, let's go for the grilled mushrooms. And can I do tomato soup? Nope. Gotta lose a little bit more satiation. Now, Shell will probably uh, rope me into playing the new expansion when that comes out, but honestly, just in general, MMOs have, have kind of dropped off in terms of interest for me. Let's see. MMO. Will Final Fantasy XIV remain a you and Shell thing, or you go bigger with it? I honestly don't know. I Realistically, Shell does not like uh, Final Fantasy XIV that much at all. Uh... Like, we were playing it a little bit, and the problem is just, like, the environments are too realistic for her, which I have to agree. 
I definitely prefer, like, a cartoonier approach to my MMOs. Because I find the style lasts longer. And, uh, ages way better. But I think that's universally true, regardless of what game I'm playing. So, do I want to go for a combo here? Because we have a couple of sets that I could maybe move towards. Let's see, what's the... Okay, I need the Colt and the Frost Choker if I want to get grab that. Uh, let's see. Dwarf... Tree of the Sage, Knight, Iquan Doe Master. Some of these are new. Oh. Fortunately, a lot of these, I think I need to actually unlock the thing. Gun Barrel Wings! Fire bullets to the other side of the dash. That's, that's most definitively new. Uh, I should probably grab the Frost Choker. It looks like a number of sets require it. There is Adventure Planet, but I think that's not worth it. Okay, so let's go back shopping. Good try Final Fantasy XI. Uh, I, I got a... Oh, no, I already have the Frost Joker. Um, I actually have a small beef against fi uh, Final Fantasy XI a little bit. It... I'm gonna say it devoured my cousin and never gave him back. And so I've been just a little bit leery of ever playing that one specifically. Let's sell a couple of these that probably don't have sets. Some do, probably. Uh, let's see, while we're here... Oh. Can I just dump it? Yeah. Let's just get rid of the starting item. Uh, let's see. Can I get... I wanted this for the crit chance. There we go. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Chunk of Ice and Planet are part of a set. Yeah, I just only have so much inventory space. And I don't want to... Oh, right! I forgot, this sword just absolutely ruins this, this lady. So does my evasion chance, to be honest. <laughs> I actually took some damage here. <laughs> Not that it matters too much. Man, she used to be an absolute run-ender. She probably still will be, once I go back to proper difficulty settings and some other stuff. Hey, new items will appear in the dungeon. Voluspa! Summon a frozen spear that automatically attacks enemies. Hey! And when attacking an enemy with a dash, connects a string that increases dash damage. Neat. Nope, can't hear. Their music is real nice here. I... This game has some fantastic... Some fantastic music. But yeah, I guess to go back to my previous thought about, like, not playing this game for a while, I just, you know, after, uh... After more or less, like, shutting down... Uh, down modding entirely, and then, like, I don't know if they necessarily stole codes, but they definitely, like, took some ideas from the mods and then shut the mods down permanently. And it's just like, eh. I understand completely why they did what they did, but at the time, I was salty. What the hell? Oh, okay. I think I just killed, like, a sentient flying beer. Wait, no. I don't know what that is. It looks like a sentient flying beer barrel. And I am mildly unsure on what that's supposed to be, but whatever. Gotta remember to use dash attacks a little bit more. Also, snag. Snag. Now, unless I'm mistaken, poison sucks. But that's fine. Let's see, what do you mean Final Fantasy never gave you uh, your cousin back? So, uh, I guess that's being a little bit much. So, uh, let's... Let's talk about Final Fantasy XI. So I had a, I have a lot of cousins. Uh, I come from a very big family, and a lot of them live out in the middle of nowhere, um, which means like not a whole lot of uh, opportunities or ambition in kind of the community where where they live, and that's a bit of an issue. Let's see, but. 
my cousin at the time, I think had been Snake. Uh, my cousin at the time had been working at a pizza place and kind of going to college, maybe going to college, not really, didn't really have a whole lot of ambition. And then Final Fantasy XI came out and he got hooked on it to the point where I have seen him once in the past 15 years. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't play Final Fantasy anymore, uh, mainly because they lost their house and I can't imagine that he's able to maintain his, um, his old habits. Uh, wherever he lives now. I, I don't keep up with my family as much as I should, so that's part of the reason why I haven't seen him in a while. Um, but, like, he was one of my favorite cousins to, like, hang out with, and he went from, you know, being around and interesting to wouldn't leave his room, wouldn't interact with anybody, had a completely, like, opposite sleep schedule, wouldn't even, like, bother to make time for us uh, during, like, uh, family reunions and whatnot. And it was... I would... Tragic is probably not the right word, because, like, ultimately... Well, no, it is tragic. You know, ultimately, it's kind of one of those where it's, like, people have to control their vices, uh, or somehow turn them into something productive. Uh, because otherwise, yeah, it just eats your life, and that's bad. And so, even though, like... Even though, like, I understand, like, it's entirely his fault and his choice to get into Final Fantasy XI to that degree, I've always had, like, negative connotations associated with it because, like, yeah. Uh, it de facto... I'm not gonna say ruined my cousin's life because, realistically, his brothers didn't turn out much better. Um, but it definitely contributed him to being... God, he must be almost 40 at this point. Um... He was, like, eight, nine years older than me. So, yeah, that'd probably put him at, like, 38, and I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure he's never, like, held down a stable job ever ever since. I'd have to ask, but they're from the part of the family that very much I do not agree with on, like, multiple issues. And so, like, I don't... I don't reach out as much as I used to. Hello! Indecision! As opposed to as opposed to indigestion, white blade is healing, black blade is attacking. You must choose to let uh to kill it or let it live. Let's try this sucker. Now what's the damage on this? 70. Attacks pretty quick too. Hurts my dash damage, but I don't really care. I wonder I wonder if I have to choose the hits. Okay, what foods do we have? So first and foremost, ooh, that's some attack speed. Let's go for the, uh, do I want the max health? I probably should go for the max health. Pure power is kind of okay. Well, this thing does dumb damage. I have yet to see the drawback for it. But yeah, it alternates with every swing. So I might just have to miss with every string. I don't know. Swing? We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm running out of space a little bit. We have a steam shield. Huh. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the shop. I know we have some set items. I almost wish it was actually listed on the item itself. Like, hey, this has a uh, potential set that you could go for. I'm gonna sell the ruby necklace and the falcs. Some of them just wouldn't be worth it even if I did get this set. Oh, there's the red pickaxe. Huh. Red pickaxe is, ain't nearly as bad as it used to be. Red pickaxe used to be like a complete, like, why would you ever get this item? Now it's not terrible. But yeah, you can sell what isn't part of a set. My main problem is just like I wish I wish it indicated on the item that it was part of a set. So that I uh I wouldn't have to keep checking this over and over again. Cause I know Adventure Planet, I could have gone for the uh the miniature planet chunk of ice, watch it and spike ball. That actually is pretty achievable. I'm just not sure if it's worth it. This is the one I want to grab, but I'm pretty sure I haven't unlocked Oh wait, no no. 
It's the Veluspa. So that's actually very possible. We want to hold on to the Bloodstone Ring and Bloodstone Necklace, which is different from the Ruby Necklace. Uh, I'll get better at remembering a lot of these things, I'm sure. Just hard. Okay, Lord of the Rings. So, Silver Ring, Ring of Midas, Ring of Speed, and Ring of Madness. So, hold on to the rings, I, I guess. Should have held on to the sandbag, but oh well. Let's see. I could try the red pickaxe this run, but I don't. Eh, we'll let that show up when it shows up. I'll save my money. Anything else? No. Let's get out of here. Right. John Jr. Cannon sounds interesting. It is interesting. Oh, wait. This is where I came in. Where's the exit? There's the exit. I've used the Chianja Cannon. I don't remember it being amazing, but it wasn't terrible. Okay, so it looks like the healing doesn't actually heal. Okay, so I'm taking some serious oomph here. But that's okay. Yeah, I do a lot of damage. I'm mostly winning. I, I'm mostly ungabunging through s purely based on stats more than anything else. I should definitely get my hands on a good ranged weapon that I like. Well, butterfly knife. Was butterfly knife one? No, no, no. Shuriken's one of the dumb ones. Butterfly knife is melee. It's an offhand weapon. Hmm. I know. <laughs> I know the chef's salvation is ranged weapon with some really goofy potential. Let's see, I saw dungeon, dungeon Crawling on the title. I started wondering, what's your opinion on Neverwinter Nights 2? Uh, let's see, out of D&D groups and got as a stand-in. Neverwinter Nights 2 is pretty good. It's it's the classic example of, uh, A. Hey. Uh, let's see, what do we want to get here? Evasion, clearly. It's a classic example of Obsidian making a pretty damn good game, but I uh, didn't didn't turn out quite as well as I'm sure they would have liked it to to have just because of marketing or bugs or funds or just like a billion other things. It's a really interesting weapon. Because I pretty much have to, I can only hit them every other swing. I think I might sw stick to the sword for the time being. Just because. But yeah, I loved, uh, I loved Neverwinter Nights 1 to death. I didn't play as much of Neverwinter Nights 2, I think because it was immediately more breakable. Uh, which sounds weird. We have the Frenzied Tonfa. A lot of Tonfas today. Ow, ow, ow. Seems neat. I think I'd prefer the sword. A little bit of extra range makes a huge difference. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I liked it. I think ultimately my main problem is just like they were going for a really realistic 3D look, and that did not serve the game nearly as well as like the classic, uh, well, just Neverwinter Nights in general is trying to go for the realistic 3D look, and that, I hate that style. It works nowadays because game, well, games just in general look nicer, but like any game from the two, uh, prior to like 2010 that was trying to go for a realistic look generally looks, looks kind of garbage. There's only a couple that really like stand out from that era that I actually like to look at. Uh, let's see, let's get rid of the, oh, right. Recovered through the dimensional vault. Huh. Fair enough. But, if you're actually looking for other good CRPGs, kind of D&D style, uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker turned out to be pretty good once they balanced it out a little bit. It was kind of hellish, like, the first week of launch, and then it just got a lot better. I don't think it's, uh, I wouldn't say it's a perfect game, but it definitely felt like a, a proper D&D game, where a lot of other games have not...
And they do not give you a whole, whole lot of healing items here. Whoop. Luckily, I got shields. Boy, I got shields. Tyranny is great as well. I mean, pretty much anything Obsidian has ever made is just downright fantastic, and I would recommend those games if you're looking to get into CRPGs of any variety. Let's see, Advanced Pistol was for a set. Probably was. Uh, Advanced Pistol and the Dagger, which I believe I just sold. Uh, let's see. There's also the Colt, which gets me the cold. I will, I will remember these sets better later. Once I've actually gotten the time to see and use them. Let's see. There's a shotgun set. There is the poison researcher. How do we get sets to work? Because, yeah, you're correct. I do have a set. Let's take off the ring of speed and put this on. Okay. Extra re reload speed. I was kind of hoping they'd fuse into an item instead. Oh. We want to go... Okay, so Dangerous Shotgun is just pretty fantastic. Uh, the poison effect isn't amazing, but the rest of it is good. Yeah, I was really hoping sets would actually be like, uh... I'm trying to remember which game game had it, but when, when you had both of the set items, they'd actually fuse into one thing instead. I find that system to be a little bit more compelling. Well, that's, this has got some good damage to it. And the reload speed ain't bad. I'll keep with it for the time being. See, Undermine did that sort of... You're right, Undermine did. Hey, you, get me out of here. Found what I came for, and now I want to get out. I saved I owners. Hey, there's NPCs to recruit. Not, not used to that. Last time I played this, there was no one. Oops. Poison for you. I'm back. I'm back, you little jerk. I wanna hit you. I wanna hit you with my beaten stick. Wow, there's a lot of enemies. Right off the bat. But that's okay, because I got cookies. I suppose I really did need the, uh... I didn't actually need the cookies. I've got money for days. I was a little worried at first, but I think it's because I've got, uh... I got this thing, gold candy. Uh, no, actually, gold candy does not give me more money. Huh. Ow. What? The hell is that thing? I have no idea. Stuff hurts, though. Scatter bullet. Oh, I remember scatter bullet being fun. Because it's actually one of the few things that, uh... That affects, like, my attacks. Not that I want to change away from Dice God's trick. Because Dice God's trick is... Goofy strong, that's not an exit. Nor is that one. I'm on fire, hits me through the shield. That sucks. Well... I'll buy some food after this. Assuming I survive. I remember the fire boss being kind of a pain in the ass. Okay, good. There's still lava down here. There's just less. <laughs> I'm not going for that lava. I'm not that poor. Or not that lava. The money in the lava. There we go. I can I can thing remember. And we're going this way. Okay, that's door to the boss. Don't see anything else. Let's go shopping for food. What do you have? Ah, uh, that's really good. We got two rather good things. 
I think I'm gonna go for the smidgy bits of evasion. Even if more crit would be lovely. Uh, mainly just because... What is what is my evasion right now? Dash power. That's my evasion. It's only 28%. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it up to the old 99%. The old 99% was amazing. But I think there was an item that specifically pushed it over the limit. Uh, let's see. That's the butterfly knife. So let's sell the tonfas. I'm pretty sure they're not part of a combo. I'm going to sell the indecision. Well, it's in a... Well, it's a pretty dang good weapon. Uh, inventory space is becoming a bit limited here. I'll get rid of the chef's salvation. I go for the carbine, but I'm pretty sure that requires an, uh, an item that I can't get yet, or don't have. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a Healy butterfly. Uh, let's see. What are people talking about? I haven't exactly read chat in a little bit. Uh, let's see. So what's up with people coming back to this game? New update? Uh, kind of, sort of. I know some other YouTubers have been covering it. Uh, mainly, though, I blame my uh, my friend slash moderator, Cryoris, who's like, I'm getting back into uh, Dungry, and I'm like, all right, fine. I'll start playing it eventually. Also, I've been playing a, a stupid amount of uh, roguelikes lately that I've specifically played... Uh, in the past, you know, I went back and took, took a look at Cat Lady, at uh, Tomacrops, at a couple other ones. Uh, definitely Hades. Envy Rock. Haven't gone back to Cave Blazers yet. I remember Cave Blazers being kind of eh back in the day, and it's been really difficult for me to like go back to that one. I can't hit that guy. Nope, but I can hit these guys. Okay, got him. Woo, 8 HP. That got dangerous. And we're back up. Might want to invest in some HP. So, the Rapier of Super Speed. More stings per attack. Reset when hit. Extra dash damage. Envy Rock's Epaulet. Every 0.6 seconds hurls a fireball when attacking. And... Hair Wax of the Wind Spirit. Become invincible during dash. Damn, that'd be good. But yeah, I've been just trying to go back to a lot of the, uh, the roguelikes that I enjoy because I would like to finish some of them. Because, well, finish. I just like to play some more of them just because. And so, that's the main reason why I'm back. And in general, I'm going to be trying to play more roguelikes in 2020, just because. They're... I'm really bad at keeping up with some of the games that I absolutely love. Wow, this is kind of a bad mix. Uh... I guess I'll go for the power and crit chance. Keep just stacking that up. What is my crit chance? Attack speed, dash power. Crit chance is 77%. That's pretty good. Toughness is OP. Oh, did they change toughness? Oh. No, I'm sorry. Toughness is OP. I was wondering. Okay, so we'll, we'll have to go back down and grab that. Oh. Okay, so I shouldn't have done... I shouldn't have just interacted with that. I've never seen this room before. So that one lets me get one of the available items. Gotcha.
three grenades. Turn dabs. Too many guns. Like, ah! Freaking Sam missile sights? How is that even a thing? Doesn't even make sense. Oh, I mean, it kind of does. I love this game. I wish the story... The story... Or the... The level progression made more sense. I'm a big fan of uh, Binding of Isaac. And, like, Risk of Rain. Because it feels like each zone is kind of... Standalone. In terms of, like, yeah, this is just a region on the planet. This one just gets confusing. Oh, damn it. Every once in a while, my mouse just, like, turns off for a second. Not great. I gotta fix that. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with my my powered USB hub. Like 90% certain it does. Unfortunately, getting a new one of those costs money. Boy howdy, I'd prefer to spend my money on new and interesting things. Instead of something I already technically have. Ow, what even? Not sure what's hitting me. Well, didn't matter. We're good. What? Okay, so we get the advanced pistol. Oh, it's this thing again. Mix it, accept your fate. Alright, what shall we mix? I don't know. Ah, uh, let's see. Actually, question. Maybe we can actually look this up. Uh... Dang it. I was really hoping there would be recipes for this. Well, let's just stick in random garbage and see what we grab. Poison bottle. Okay, that's actually really, really good. I feel like this might just be random. Well, we got the Heart of the Cosmos. Leaves a massive energy when you dash. Extra attack speed. All right. I I have no idea if there's any... It is just truly random. Gotcha. Uh... I need that extra accessory slot. Actually, I'm just going to lose the uh, set bonus on this gun. <laughs> I'm not actually sure if that made poison stack properly. Unfortunately. I gotta figure out if there's better guns than this. Extra damage. Let's just go big hammer for a bit. Wait. I thought I thought this guy was a staple in the other zone. Why is he here? I honestly thought that guy shows up in um in the next level, not this one. Ow, we took some damage there. Oh, I guess this is what we get. Yeah, I'll probably want to just switch out the... Uh... Okay, let's just avoid the flamethrower until it's burnt itself out. She gets spooky in this game. Uh, let's see where we're we going. This way. Where's my Uber crits? Oh, shit! Doggo's still alive. I didn't even notice I had a tag along for a second there. 
And we get more Frenzy Tonfas. Ow. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay. Clearly don't understand him well enough. Might also need a gun here. Desperately need a gun here. We have taken some hurts. Ow. Okay, go and, go and eatin'. Let's get rid of the rocket hammer. Uh, let's see. Uh... Actually, let's grab the bloodstone ring. I don't think it's much. But we could use it. Okay, let's grab the, the toughness. That is not as much HP as I was hoping for, but that's fine. Gotta remember, I can I can actually hit those missiles out of the air. Oh, they're Robo Dogs, not Skele Dogs. Lubu's spear. Hmm. Well. Sure, why not? That's a decent chunk of dang a bitch. I don't know where that thing was going, but it wasn't going to live. Okay, so I've got some amount of healing, which is good. Just going to avoid the, uh... Avoid that thing. Just leave it alone. I think the fire sword's still better. I'm having a hard time deciding on that one. Okay, going this way. Oh, it's croc. What does croc contain? That sounded weird. Well, I guess I got the dagger again. I could have gone for knife gun. I'm fine with not, though. Okay, so it's 5 HP every, every once in a while. That's still pretty dang good. Better HP than what I've got. See, throwing knife is pretty good. I... Uh, yeah? Oh, there's a chest. I almost missed it. Mirror of the Mummy. If I remember right, that was good. Poison the enemy attacking you. Enhance poison damage. Uh, That might actually be really good. The problem is, like, Dice God's trick is just too good. So I like, I really, I really think I need that uh, that bonus accessory. Uh, let's see. Oh hi, hungry juice fountain, very fragrant fountain. Drank. Become hungry, but your current HP decreases. Uh, well, I was already very injured before that, so eh, it's fine. I can't get either of these. Well, we're probably dead. It's fine. Okay. We have the altar. I should probably sack a bunch of stuff at the altar. Or, wait, no. Hold up. This altar has nothing to do with the lady outside, though. Okay, food shop. Yeah, neither of these are 61. So I can't get that anyway. 
Let's see, did they ever increase max level in this game? I don't think so. I think it. I think it's still maxed out at 30, which I still find to be a baffling decision. Uh, let's see, do we want to just grab the carbine? I'm just going to buy the throwing knife. But remember, right, the throwing knife gets silly. See, why not sell some stuff? I... I don't think I need to. Yeah, unfortunately, fire hits me through my shield, but it's okay. Alright. Select an item to save in the dimensional vaults. Do I only get to save one? I think so. I think we had hacked it up so you could save three. Probably just gonna bring her along. That shield is just too good. Everything else can be can be replaced. But not her. 